Hi, I'm Susan Petit. I work with Kidney Can. Uh, and in addition, I'm a caregiver. Um, my husband's been dealing with the kidney cancer and under treatment most of the time for the last 15 years. Today, I'm going to talk with you about dinner for your cancer friend and how to make it easy and something that um, they'll really appreciate. Um, we've had a lot of ups and downs and a lot of people offer us food over the years. It's been greatly appreciated. So I'll share with you some of the things that have been my favorite touches. First, it's nice if you call or ask them first about food preferences, um, health, allergies, food aversions. Um, that's very helpful. Um, when to deliver it um, so that you're not disrupting their routine and make sure they're home. That's important. Their schedule's a little less predictable. Um, package it in small amounts. Um, something like this. Maybe one for the freezer and one for tonight's dinner. That works real well. Um, you're going for a five-minute prep time. No dishes to return. Um, label it with your instructions. Um, that makes for easy cleanup. Another thing I think is really nice is don't just take the casserole. Take the whole meal. Uh, some rolls, a bag salad, a dessert. That's very much appreciated. Um, the A lot of things that are favorites for uh, dinner for your cancer friend would be casseroles, soup, uh, sliders, especially the ones that can go in the freezer. Um, those are all good choices, but it's a good idea when you call to have a couple of recipes in mind to see if that sounds good to them. Um, so these are not hard things for you as the cook and they are things that will fit into the disrupted routine of the household where people are eating at different times and be greatly appreciated. So just wanted to share that with you today and thanks for listening. Bye-bye.